Hello and welcome to another gear update and this one is going to be very interesting and, and very unique because uh, the machine that we're going to look at today is something that I think 80% of you, maybe even more, maybe 90% of you, uh, you won't know what this is and what it does. So I'm going to talk about this machine and, and what makes it different but before we talk about that I need to explain to you what annealing is. And before we go any further, this is not an air gun related video. Uh, it's for people who shoot uh, center fire rifles only. If you're only here for the air gun stuff, I'd like you to stay because I think you'll learn something new and something interesting, but I understand if you don't want to. Cheers, I'll see you next Wednesday. The product we're going to look at today is called the Annealing Made Perfect Machine. But let's talk about what annealing is and, and why it's so important. Now, as I said, this applies to people who are going to be reloading cartridge cases. Um, and what happens when you reload a cartridge case or when you fire a cartridge, um, the brass after a few shots or even after one shot starts to work harden. Uh, when Lapua brass is, is made in the factory, they actually anneal the case necks and the shoulders. And what this does is uh, it softens the, the brass. So annealing is uh, heating the neck and shoulder area of the case to an exact temperature that allows the brass to soften up and, and lose its brittleness, but it's not enough to make it completely soft. It, it, it still retains some of its springiness. So it's a very, very precise temperature you've got to get it to. It's very difficult to get it to the exact temperature, but that's where we're going to start. So the definition of annealing is heat treating the neck and shoulder area of the cases to get them at the perfect hardness, the perfect malleability. Um, and that's the, that's the whole aim because if you have a, a case that hasn't been annealed, after a few shots the, the brass work hardens and this can result in a number of big problems. Number one, obviously, the brittle case necks will tend to crack. That's not only dangerous, but you know, if you're losing money, you have to replace your, uh, replace your cases after a few shots and that really sucks. It, it really, the, the cost adds up. Another reason you'd want to anneal your, your cases is consistency in the neck tension. If the, if the neck tension is not consistent, you're going to have inconsistencies in your muzzle velocity as a result of that. And that all translates to a loss of accuracy. So if, you, if you're concerned about accuracy, this is something that you will want to do. And there's a very strong argument to actually anneal your cases after every firing, after every sizing so that every single time you fire it, you've got the exact same neck tension. The brass is exactly the same hardness. And many people shy away from this because it is such a you know, time-consuming and tedious process trying to get that annealing process done perfectly. It's really, really difficult. I've tried you know, the old-school blowtorch, hold it up in the flame, perfect amount of time, wait till you see a slight color change or you know, it's an absolute nightmare trying to get that perfect. It's impossible to get it perfect every single time. So you're not going to have the consistency. And if you over anneal your brass and it gets too soft, you can have your, your necks collapsing when you try and size them. It's just, you don't want to go down that road either. So under annealing is not good. Over annealing is not good. It has to be perfect and it's not easy to do this. And that's where the annealing made perfect machine comes in. Now, there are other annealing machines that can give you consistent annealing, but to get it at the perfect temperature and the perfect you know, amount of time in there in the first place is difficult. You've got to go through quite a few pieces of brass, uh, trial pieces of brass, um, in order to get it right. And even then, when you think it's right, it may not be right. The guys who make this, uh, when they you know, program this machine to get it perfect for each specific piece of brass, each specific caliber, each specific brand, they have really, really reliable means of testing the brass to make sure that it is at the correct hardness slash softness. And so you know that when you use this machine, it's going to be perfect. Now, say, for example, you had a, another annealing machine that's maybe half the price of this that allows you to anneal, you know, a whole lot of brass quickly and consistently. And let's say you do get it right. You know, you get the right amount of heat on that on that piece of brass and you anneal it properly when you change between different calibers if you've got different calibers uh, you've got to then change the settings on that machine 
And that in itself, again, you're going through the whole process of kind of calibrating your machine perfectly. It doesn't work very well. So my decision to get this machine was based on the fact that I'm in this for the long run. I am going to be reloading probably for the rest of my life. Uh, I wanted something that's, that's going to be reliable, that's going to work extremely well and something that I can use for a variety of different calibers. I don't know what I'm going to get in the next few years. I don't know if I'm going to be getting a 300 WSM or a 375 Shytac or a 6mm BR. I don't know. And I need to look ahead when I purchase something like this and, and see, okay, what's going, to, what's going to be the best for me in the long run? And after looking at that, I've pretty much come to the conclusion that this is going to be the best for me and it is worth the price tag. But only if you are going to be in this for the long haul. If you just, it's just something you do maybe once or twice a year, then this may not be the right thing for you. But let's take a look at what this machine does. Okay, so what makes this machine different from a typical uh, annealing machine that, that uses a blowtorch and a flame this one uses coil induction, which means that there, there is no, you know, burning gas involved. There is no flame from one side, or even a flame from two sides involved. It is a, a coil that surrounds the case neck and the case shoulder um, and heats it up from there. Uh, what this means is, is that it can be programmed very easily. It's all electronic. Um, so if you look on the machine on the front here, you've got a long list of programs and every single one of those programs has been made specifically for a brand of brass and a specific caliber. So, for example, I know that program number 91 is for a 260 Remington Lapua piece of brass that has not been neck turned. You can go on the Annealy Made Perfect website, you can look exactly for, for your exact piece of brass what program you need to be on. Then what you do is you unscrew this part at the top and you fit a pilot that is specific to the caliber you're going to be using. So in this case, I know that pilot number 11 is the one I need to use for 260 Remington. What this pilot does is not only centers your, your cartridge case, uh, you know, concentric between those coils, but it also gets it at the right distance from the coil so that you are only annealing the right part of the case. You do not want to be annealing it too far towards the case head because that part of the brass needs to stay brittle. It, it must not be soft. So here's the, um, the pilot in the right place. And from there, we take this neat little piece over here, which is basically a, a holder for a... Uh, a holder for a shell holder. So you'll buy a separate shell holder, it will attach into this brass piece over here and you can basically just slot your cartridge case in and from there it is as simple as getting on the right correct program, pressing start and within a matter of seconds you'll see the red light turn off and you know that your case is done. Uh, you should see a very, very slight color change on the neck and shoulder area of your cartridge case. And if you touch it quickly, you'll feel that it's, it's quite hot. From there, you can put it down somewhere and move on to your next case. So it's as simple as that. And yes, you do need to manually uh, do it for every piece of brass. There's no machine that rotates or anything. But I know it might sound stupid, but I actually enjoy this process. I sometimes just feel like I'm kneeling something. So... <laughs> So it's not too bad. Maybe if you've got hundreds of cases, then it becomes time consuming, but I really don't see it as much of an issue at all. So let's say you want to do a different case. Like for example, if I want to kneel this piece of 22250 brass, um, I would then just unscrew the pilot. I will change to a number seven pilot, which is the, the correct one for 22250 Remington. And you do need to order these pilots separately, by the way. They don't come with the machine. I will slot in my piece of brass, 22250 Remington, and I will change the program to 93. That's the correct program for 22250 Remington. And again, press start. It's a matter of seconds. And when the light goes off, my piece of 22250 Remington brass is done. 
and I know for a fact that when I do this, those cases are going to come out with the exact same hardness every single time. I've actually noticed since I've started annealing my brass every firing with this machine, I've actually seen my extreme spreads uh, shrink down and I've seen my accuracy tighten up ever so slightly. So it has made a big difference. A few more things to mention. Uh, I do want to say that while I've never spoken to the guys at Annealing Made Perfect, I have read a lot of forums, I've seen a lot of videos, and I know that the guys who make this machine, uh, Alex and Matt Findlay in New Zealand, are wonderful people to deal with. Everybody I've spoken to has said that. You can email them, they will answer your questions quickly. You can even send them your cartridge cases if you're using something that's a little bit different or unique and they will actually test your cases and, and they'll give you the program that you need to use for your case or they'll create a program for you. I'm talking about creating programs, the Annealing Made Perfect machine comes with a USB cable which essentially allows you to do a firmware update on the machine. So we don't know what new calibers and cartridges are gonna be invented in the future. Uh, if something new comes along, they can simply you know, create a program for that case. They can put it online, you can download it and you can do a firmware update. And so this, this machine is never gonna become outdated, which is fantastic. One more thing, it does actually come with this cool little uh, dust sheet, dust cover, that you can simply slide over the machine when you're done using it. And this is quite nice because if you have a reloading room or if you have a you know a little work area in your garage and you want to leave this thing out you don't have to pack it away every single time you can simply put the dust cover over and you're not going to get dust you know getting in the the fan getting in the machine and, and messing it up so that's a really nice touch and that's the newly made perfect machine guys i'm going to put links down below to websites where you can find out more information and where you can order this machine from i hope you found it interesting i know that while i've been doing research on the correct way to anneal brass and the benefits of doing so and and following all the interesting tests that the guys at Nearly Made Perfect have done on cartridge cases uh, I've really learned a lot and it's just kind of fueled up the uh, excitement that I get from reloading my own cases and, and seeing the, the uh, knock-on effects of how your accuracy actually improves little by little so I'm really really happy to have this I'm sure you're going to see more of it in the future I'm planning to do an entire series on reloading sometime in the future when I have time so I'll catch you then thanks for watching